question is based on one hadith uh, that is uh, Rasulullah Karim Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that when you see something wrong uh, or bad is being committed in front of you then uh, you uh, stop it or check it by force uh, hand the word hand is used force is not used yeah. for the hand, uh, so um, how can we practice on this teaching in this society you see this is uh, the interpretation of the mullahs that when you see something done wrong you must prevent it by force this is against the sunnah Allah this means if you don't see anybody saying prayer at the prayer time you beat him and take him to the mosque and if you don't see observe a lady observing Pada then you beat her and force her to observe Pada now this sort of argumentation is made by the extremist mullahs based on this particular hadith but why did not Rasulullah did this himself in Medina many ladies walking without parda many people did not say namaz and not in a single incident compelled them to do something against their wish even at the time when he thought that uh, it would have been better if they had done this. For example, I'm going to t quote a hadith. In the morning after the prayer, he said that uh, those who have not woken up for the prayer, those who have not come to the mosque, I feel that it is better that I go along with some of my companions with bundles of wood, bundles of wood and burn them alive in their own homes. That was what he realized to be the end when they were not saying prayers. But he didn't do it. Never once. So his words are very deep in meaning they should be understood. It means that this is the bad thing they do. You try to prevent it with soft words. Express your displeasure. And uh, if you can do it with your hands, then do it. But how can you do it with your hands? That is the question. Sometimes you see a peeling of bananas on the road or anything slippery you remove it with your hand sometimes your own children do some bad thing and over them you have a right to force them not to do it but it doesn't mean that on the way to the ro on, on, on the road you stop everybody doing something which you don't like. Maybe you are wrong. So in this way, if this hadith is interpreted like this, chaos will spring from it.